Hi, everyone, and thank you for joining us for part five of the launch of Regulated and Ready, our social emotional learning curriculum. But first of all, just this basic toolkit for how to survive the crazy. We really felt like it was important as the therapists here at Growing Healthy Children to make sure that our launch series talked a little bit about this concept of good and bad and dispel these myths. Um, we've heard a lot from teachers over the years that when kids learn about that that middle zone that like what we're calling regulated and ready zone they think okay that's good and anything outside of that range is bad and then some kids quit pretty quickly shift from that's the good zone to i'm good if i'm in that zone and i'm bad if i'm not in that zone and so i wanted to make sure that we start even with the beginning, the basic toolkit, talking about how not true that is. So when I say regulated and ready to learn, I mean ready to learn from other people. So there can be a deeper learning, even a more powerful learning that happens when we're not regulated. So that whole regulated good, not regulated bad thing just flies out the window. You know, when we are off track, when we're stuck in the mud, we learn things about ourselves that we don't learn in the classroom, that I, I would almost say we can't learn in the classroom. And these powerful, deep life lessons come from the pain. I think that this season especially is teaching us that that pain can actually be our greatest teacher. And I just want to spend a little time talking about one of the families that we that we work with here i want to start a conversation that i hope we can continue maybe even have lots of episodes of just talking about those good beautiful powerful things that have come from the seasons of off track and stuck in the mud and i know we all have a lot of examples of that right now so i think this is the time where we can start talking about this bringing it out into the light and sharing with each other and seeing the beauty that's emerging. You know, these rich life lessons about regulation are really birthed out of the times of not being regulated. And it's not that we're broken during seasons of stuck in the mud and off track, and then we're somehow just magically healed and all better during the regulated and ready times. Um, the richness of life really comes from the flow between and the experiences across all the seasons. So I thought that we would conclude this beginning series with a little bit of reflection, asking ourselves, what have we learned in our own life? What have I learned in my own life from a time where I was totally stuck in the mud or completely <laughs> off track? going five million miles an hour and spinning out. And that reflection could be a beautiful gift to come out of this. And so to start that reflection and just give you an idea, an example, I got permission from a family to share about their season that they've been in over the last month of definitely um, actually oscillating between <laughs> stuck in the mud and off track and sometimes a hundred times a day flying between those two and not a lot of that middle zone of regulated and ready. Um, this friend of mine has a daughter with, uh, we would officially call it level three autism, just to give you an idea, a picture in your mind. This is a beautiful, amazing girl who is right around eight years old, and she's in a special learning program at school when she gets to go to school. She has ABA staff after school. She has all the therapies during the school day. She also comes into Growing Healthy Children after school and does some therapies as well. Um, she's a friend that this, this little girl is one that unfortunately sometimes is smearing poop all over the walls. She doesn't have a lot of words. She's learning how to use an AAC device. There is 
beauty and amazingness inside of her and the chains of autism that she is experiencing are really keeping her from connecting with other people sometimes. Sometimes are, some days are really hard days. And um, the communication that she would love to have with her family and friends is not, is not clicking, it's not happening. So as you can imagine, coronavirus hits and everything is stripped away. She's not going to school. There's not a bus driver there to pick her up and take her to school. No ABA is coming in home. The respite work is canceled. Our in-clinic therapies are postponed. Um, this, was, this is a, a significant hardship for this family, this friend of mine and her daughter. And the incredible thing is, as we were reflecting and talking through this, she shared with me that her daughter has experienced miraculous, wonderful growth during this time. And it's not like she all of a sudden is potty trained. That would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be such a gift for my friend and for her daughter, right? But no, this type of deep, powerful life lesson that's coming from the pain is different than that. This is miracles on the family level. So the connection that this little girl is now making, building with her siblings that are also home is incredible. Um, they are, the older daughters are actually arguing over who gets to do the speech therapy activities that were sent home with this little girl. Um, another example of just beauty that is emerging from the pain of all of this is they always had this dream of going on walks as a family, but the little girl would fall to the ground, refuse to walk, or she'd pull away and be off like eating the plants on the pathway, um, getting, getting into unsafe situations really quickly. And so that hardness that would come from the walks was just so yucky that they would as a family just avoid that and they would wait for the respite worker to come and totally understandable right but no respite worker coming now they tackled this and they worked at it and yes the first couple days their daughter was dropping their daughter was pulling away their daughter was refusing to walk and then it all shifted and she started walking a little and now it's been what, six weeks of all of this? And she's actually walking a couple miles with her family and it's not miserable. It's amazing. And so they have hopes as a family now. Hope has emerged out of the pain and they have hopes as a family of getting to go on longer walks up in Tahoe together as a family this summer, something they never believed that they were gonna be able to do before. So really incredible things coming out of the hard coming out of the stuck in the mud coming out of the off track coming out of the chaos that we could call it um just incredible the richness of life that this family is experiencing does it make it all better and easy not at all most definitely not are they looking forward to extra help coming and more moments of regulated and ready 100%, most definitely. But these deep learning opportunities, this powerful learning that happens when everything is not regulated and ready is amazing. And the point isn't to totally avoid that. Again, it's not bad when you're off track and stuck in the mud and good when you're regulated and ready. The richness of life comes from the flow between and the experiences across all seasons. And so I hope that helps clarify as you're embarking on this journey, as you're picking up your basic toolkit and you're getting ready to pull that out and try some of these things with your own students, clients, or family members. Um, the context for all of this. The goal. The goal is not to just stay in regulated and ready all day, every day, and that's the win. The goal is to be equipped, present, 
brave, courageous to learn the lessons that come with each season. So hope that helps. We're here for you through all of this. I know this journey is challenging and crazy, and especially right now. So um, reach out, contact Growing Healthy Children if you guys need some extra support along this journey. And just know that your community, friends, and family love you. And um, the connection and the relationship that's emerging out of this is beautiful, amazing. So, all right, that's the end of our first series on the regulated and ready curriculum. We can't wait to do more.